everyone, my name is Danielle and welcome to another episode of Board Game Bakes. This is a show where we make baked goods that resemble board game pieces and components for some of your favorite games. This week we're going to do codenames. I am so excited, as in I may have been waiting to film this episode since I started filming. You'll understand in a little bit why. Codenames is a very fun party game if you haven't played it before. There's a blue team and a red team. And the fun part is that you can have as many people on each team as you want. Each team has their spy master, and they're in charge of giving one word clues to help their team identify which one of the cards is one of their spies. The game ends when either one team has successfully identified all their spies, or someone gets the assassin, which immediately ends the game. So when you play the game, there's four different types of cards. There's red, blue, five standards, and the assassin. So it made sense to me just to make all of them four different flavors, which is why I had to wait until this point to make this video. For the blue ones, we're going to use the vanilla almond cookies from the Carcassonne episode. For the red ones, we're going to make lemon lime cookies in this episode. For the bystanders, we're using plain sugar cookies, like we found in the meatballs episode. And for the assassin, let's say you don't want to get the assassin. I played this game once before. I made it actually the first time for National Tabletop Day, and it was a lot of fun. But when I made the assassin that time, I just took some wasabi powder and mixed it in. I made the cookie a little bitter, but you couldn't really tell that much. So I may have gone a little extreme this time, and I decided to put hot sauce on top of the assassin cookie. Have you ever seen the YouTube show Hot Ones? They make people answer questions while eating increasingly hot wings. And most people usually fall apart at the bomb. And my husband for his birthday decided that he wanted to do the increasing wings, so I have all these hot sauces. So I may have put a thin layer of the bomb on top of the assassin. You will definitely know if you find the assassin because your mouth will be on fire. So let's get started making our game. We're gonna make our lemon lime cookies, so here we go. The greens that you need are gonna be three and a half cups of all-purpose flour one cup of softened salted butter, one three quarter cups sugar, one egg, one egg yolk, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two teaspoons lime extract, one lemon zest. The first step, like many other cookies, is that you want to cream together your butter and your sugar until it's nice and creamy. Now I'm going to I can taste the sugar in the air. Now that our butter and sugar are creamed together, I'm going to add the egg and the egg yolk and give it another quick mix. Now I'm going to add my vanilla extract, lime extract, mm. and that's what's really good, and lemon dust. Oh, very citrusy and refreshing in here. And do another quick mix. Yeah, okay, I'm going to gradually add the flour. I just want to make sure that I don't over mix it. Looks like mine's about done. You may notice that the batter is a little crumbly, but we can actually knead together, and this is actually a dough that doesn't require to be refrigerated. So we can just roll it out now. Now that our dough is complete, Let's pour it onto the surface. As you can see, mine's pretty crumbly. First thing we have to do is knead it together so we can get the dough. If you're working this and you want it that's actually too sticky, when you're mixing, you could always add more flour. Okay, I'm gonna roll this out to a quarter inch thickness. And then we're gonna use our easiest cookie cutter yet. We're just gonna use a roller. I'm gonna make the cookie so that they're one and a half by two and a half. So I'll make rectangles. You know, all these guys look like winners to me. You want to bake the cookies at 350 degrees for eight to 10 minutes. After being up with your toddler all day and making more than four times the amount of rectangle cookies that you need to play one game codeams, 
you may just give up and just make humongous cookie patties and call it a day. Or at least that's what I did. The cookies should only be slightly browned around the edges when they're done. Take them out and let them cool completely before decorating. To decorate your cookies, you need a thick light brown icing and the same color the flooding consistency. And then you need white icing all the flooding consistency. And then I used almond extract and lime extract in two of the bottles to give the cookies an extra oomph. To compile our game, you're going to need seven sugar cookies, which are the bystanders, eight vanilla almond cookies, which are the blue cards, nine lemon lime cookies, which are the red cards, and one de bomb cookie, which is the black X. The first step in decorating our cookies is to do the outline and the line separating the tan and white parts of the cookies. To make the assassin cookie, we're just putting <laughs> we're just putting the de bomb sauce on top of a lemon lime cookie. The next step is to use the light brown flooding icing to fill in the top of all the cookies. Next stop is to fill in the bottom section with the white thinned royal icing and you want to fill that in with either the vanilla, lime, or plain depending on what type of cookie you're decorating. I created this board using the Conan's box. And we're going to use this grid in order to correctly identify and label our cookies. So this way we're all set up to play the game. I have some thick but white royal icing. And I have an edible food marker. Don't worry, I'm not going to write on it with real marker. Now this one is a vanilla almond blue cookie. So I had to look at my chart here and find a blue one. And then go to the corresponding part on the chart. For us, this is the word ball. And the cool thing is actually run on both sides, so no matter where you're standing, you can see what the word is. To the accent, I have a Wilton number one tip. I do a little circle at the top type of piece. And then just some little reflections. There you go. Voila! Our cookies are done, and I think they look great. I'm really excited to get to play this game with some of my friends. Now, as I mentioned, it's a lot of upfront work because you have three different recipes for the three different types of cards, but you only need like eight pieces for each type of cookie. So you could do the three batches, but then if you put them in the freezer, you could take them out whenever you want to play. And this way you get multiple game plays from the one upfront work. So some of these cookies may actually be from Tabletop Day, and I just put them in the freezer to use this time. This way I only had to make one batch of cookies instead of three batches of cookies. Thanks for watching another episode of Board Game Bakes. Please like, comment, and subscribe below. Let me know in the comments if there's any games that you want to see featured on the show, and I'll try and find some treats or savory delights for us to feature on a later episode. You could also follow me on Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Let's just try, try them. I don't want to mess up the game so this way I can actually play it. So I made my own extra ones. So this one says BG Bakes, and this is the lemon lime one, which should taste good. Delicious, light and refreshing, like I predicted. So the lemon lime cookie is delicious and refreshing. I don't think I'm gonna have the same reaction to the bomb cookie. I called it pain. I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. I ate a banana. My husband tried it for me and he's pretty good at spices and he was starting to water up. So we'll see how this goes. Wow, it's like instantaneous. My tongue and the roof of my mouth. How'd you get here? What are you looking at? That's a hot cookie.